Okay. Alright, so I guess I mean, See, every time I come up to you, like, it starts with you being sort of brighter, and then it realizes there's light from behind you. Anyways. Anyways. Alright, so I'm warping my loom, and I'm going for a full warp, you know, so it's going to take a while. So it probably won't record all of this. But, first thing you do is that you have to, you know, get your warping board out. Sometimes it's the back of your loom, sometimes it's a separate board like I've got, because it's more sturdy. And you can fit more yarn on it. But you warp it in whatever length you want. And then, of course, right here is the cross, which you've got to have. Otherwise, your threads will get all mixed up. And, you know, you can actually see some, you know, what happens is you, one time around, you go on top of the one peg and then back across and then you go back around and then I put two crosses in it just so they're more defined um, but you only really need one you could just do that one if you like and um yeah that's basically how you cross it and taking it off the limbs always the fun part so you need to make sure that it's all tied up because if you don't then you'll just get a bunch of knotted yarn which is not fun. <laughs> they get all mixed up and which we did our first time I think. Our first couple <laughs> times I think. And it was very frustrating and somebody was very unhappy. Shoosh. <laughs> and so, you know, I use my hook but to help. Tries to try to just to keep the the different loops straight. Cuz each each one of these is a loop at the end there. And yeah, it's one continue. well, mostly continuous. <laughs> yeah, unless we r ran into knots, it's continuous. Yeah, I ran out of yarn. This is, uh, this is like three, uh, 310 yards here. Yeah, this is at least two, uh, two skeins. No, it's one skein. Oh, one. you only use the one? Didn't you start the second one? Yeah, I started, yeah. Okay, so it's, yeah. Never you mind. said two, yeah, it's only one and a half. Never mind. Shh, shh, shh. And so once I finish tying this, I'll put... One part on a dowel, the end there, that Heather's at. This guy. Should I use your name? <laughs> your face is in it, so, meh. Mm -hmm. This is Joshua. Ah, <gasps> now your name's in it, too. No, you're not putting me in it. <laughs> Why not? Because Why I'm not? filming. It's my camera. <laughs> it's your camera. I bought it. <laughs> my camera. <laughs> anyway. So... So he just ties a few times along there just to try to keep everything And since straight. it's also great about a warping board is you can set it to the side while you get your... Oh, what am I sitting on? Oh, there's a lamp on my chair. <laughs> okay. Hello, lamp! Ow, I stubbed my toe on the table. Well, this is one of the smaller crowns to game marks they make. I think it might be the smallest. First of all, now we've got two. Which end's the front end? This is the front. That faces you? Yes. And that's the far end as well. Yeah. It doesn't face you. It doesn't face you. Over. <laughs> this yarn here, don't pay any attention to that. You don't cut anything off of this roll. All these rolls, you got four or five or six yeah, strings depending on. It comes with these strings that basically they're to help space your yarn out and to keep this an even distance away from. Uh, everything. Mm. All right, so now the fun part begins where the head on here. And so now I'm going to clamp it. Well, yeah, I'm going to. No, I don't have to clamp it yet, but I'm going to do it. Just a little bit wiggle. Should have clamps in your legs if you don't. By the way, this is this is um this is a very anti clutter man we have here and this is what's we happened. I don't have a shelf for all my supplies. It is cluttery. I'm just saying. It's against your nature. Yes, it is against my nature. Thank you for pointing that out. <laughs> He's trying to tell me I guess that I need to buy shelving. Well, we won't go nowhere. We don't have a wall space. You see that post on G and someone says, why don't you put it on your wall? And I said, our apartment's so small. <laughs> you don't oh, know. yeah. Some of you suggested a, uh, to get a, one of those actual solid um, DDR like pad things instead of just a mat. Mm -hmm. And we, w we wouldn't have anywhere to store it. Um, I said, why don't you hang it on the wall? Don't, I don't think it would fit on the wall anywhere. We have... We'd be lucky we have enough room for light switches. <laughs> 
Well, you got all this space on this wall, but then again, yeah, if you, if you go to the make the effort of putting things on the wall, hanging things off the wall, then I think you have to leave them at the yeah, apartment, don't you? But anyway, I'm just yeah, watching you. I mean, what do you want me to do? Just we're putting clamps on. There, he's gonna unscrew them. <laughs> now you're just being pain. And the obtuse <laughs> rear end here. You can't see through anything that way. But yeah, there's, the, it's got holes uh, like these on there, and the metal bit goes through, and the wooden parts clamp under the kitchen table. In this case, the dining room table. This is the our kitchen table at my parents' house. Mm. I want some, I want some clamps like those hand clamps, you know, that you, you know, you just, you just tighten down by hand. You, you want to come to Lowe's with me today? You going to Lowe's today? I was thinking about it. You can tell me this. It was in my master plan that I thought about when I was falling asleep last night, and <laughs> obviously I didn't. Well, I was not pretty good. Yes. Why did you need to be? I don't know. It's a master plan. Master plans are supposed to have henchmen. Right. What are you getting now? This is his hammer, which is like one ow. That was really loud. And, and and he's got a, a thing over there that holds the um, oh holds the dowel. Get the thing out of the way. Get the head out of the way. I want to I want to show him when you put it in. Yep. So it just holds it straight. I'm looping it. So, you want me to hold the? Or are you pulling it off? No, well, I don't need you to hold it now because I can set up. Mm -hmm. Let me get out of the way and stop sitting on a lamp. I'll break my lamp. Can I put the lamp on the floor? You can put the lamp on the floor. Thank you. The only other thing about weaving is it takes up a lot of space, and this is only for a small loom. I can't imagine like a 36 inch loom would pro a 30 what? No, I think it was a 32. No, a 32 inch loom would take up the entire. I mean, it would be wider than this table. But they, you have they have a stand, stand they said, but, I think. So, yeah, so. they have a stand, so. But, um. So now we get to take this off. And you have to try your best to keep them in order, otherwise they get all crossed and weird. And you sure you Bad don't need things happen. Help? Yeah. Okay. Weren't you, do you want me to hold that as well? Mm -hmm. Why well, don't I help you somewhat here by, like... There you go. Thank you, honey. <laughs> okay, hold on.